morning, you guys. It is just about 5.30 a.m. right now. We are all packed up and about to hit the road. We are leaving our hotel here in Shepshuan because we have to go grab a bus, which is a little bit ways away. And we gotta be there for 6.30 a.m. because the bus leaves at seven to go to Casablanca. This is a six hour bus ride today. We're walking down the main street. With the luggage at 6 a.m. Absolutely no one is up. Hoping to find a taxi. Goodbye, Chef Shawan. Thank you, man. <laughs> Chris, what did you just do? <laughs> I accidentally took the hotel key as a souvenir. I forgot that it was in my pocket, and Cody's like, Do you have the hotel key? I was like, Yeah, I do. Do you want a souvenir from Chef Shawan? <laughs> <laughs> so, we're like, okay. We gave him like 30 extra derma, and he's gonna go return it for us. That's like three American dollars. Yeah. Uh. When you're writing a note for the owner to give him the money you owe for breakfast, do not put your tickets on the table and then leave them there. I left the tickets there in this hotel, which is, you know, it's kind of late now. <laughs> Luckily, there were two more tickets, so I bought two more tickets. Alright, so we have made it out to Casablanca. We are just outside the Medina right here. But today's video, we are going to find out whether it is worth it to come to Casablanca, what there is to do here, and if you should come visit while you're in Morocco. So next we come out to the Grand Mosque, also known as the Hassan II Mosque. This is probably the biggest mosque in all of Africa and the fifth largest in the whole entire world. This one cost between 400 and 700 million US dollars to make, and it took about seven years. Now this is a uh, you know, religious mosque, so we're not actually allowed on the inside of it because we're not Muslim, but we can go in the courtyard area. And it is probably the most impressive thing here in Casablanca. This is on the seaside. It's like the beautiful location. There's this you know, marble, artisan marble everywhere. So we're gonna go walk around a little bit, see what we can do, see how close we can get, because we can't really go inside. But uh, yeah, this is the Grand Mosque. It is definitely a sight to see when coming to Casablanca. So Chris and I actually came here late last night. We caught the sunset just in time. It was a beautiful sunset. This mosque, I was wondering personally why it costs between four and seven hundred million. It is beautiful, but why does it cost that much? I think part of it is that it's all this artisan marble and it also has a retractable roof. Like the roof retracts and opens up. So there's a lot of like tech behind this marble here. So I think that's part of it as well. The uh, the King Hassan II, he's the one who this is built after, he wanted something to have Casablanca known for and remembered for the rest of history. So that's why he built this place. Can I get your final thoughts on this mosque? It's incredible. I mean, I, we haven't really seen too much of Casablanca, but this is definitely picturesque. I think we were here last night for like two hours, and we've been here for like two, two hours, hours also. <laughs> so you can find a picture at like every single angle from back there to over here, close up. Like, there's shots everywhere, and this is definitely the spot to check out in Casablanca. So, Casablanca is the most modern city that we've been to so far in Morocco. And this part right here is called the Baywalk, uh, right next to the Grand Mosque behind me. And so, you come off to the side here, you walk down here. There's all these palm trees, this beautiful oceanfront view. It almost looks like you're walking down Santa Monica in California. It has a very like West Coast vibe. It's like these beautiful waves, palm trees, nice path to walk on down the, down the side of the water. And uh, it's really beautiful. This is like the area to come to if you're coming to Casablanca. It's been my favorite so far. Five minute drive away from the pier is this restaurant we come to called Savu de Palais. At least that's how I believe it's called. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's a Moroccan restaurant. We came here. It's all fancy Moroccan style. You got the Moroccan uh, knife. You got the teapots and everything. And so we decided to try a Moroccan dish. We are going to be trying couscous, which is this kind of like hard wheat, like rice type uh, meal with chicken on top of it. And uh, I'm excited to try my first couscous here in Morocco. It's got carrots in here. It's got what looks like cucumber, some molina, uh, chicken. And uh, it's a very, uh, very common Moroccan dish here in uh, the northern Africa. So 
We're gonna try this out. Mm, pretty good. Like, mm -hmm. It smells like a very fine rice. You know, if rice was like one tenth of the size of rice, it's all just very, very fine. With chicken and vegetables, it's good. Recommended? Mm-hmm. Okay. No fun. So we just finished up at the restaurant. The couscous was about 70 dirham, which is like, yes, yeah, roughly $7. We have just made it to Marrakesh. We uh, came from Casablanca this morning and we wanted to kind of do a little bit of a recap on what Casablanca was like and you know, give a final conclusion on if you should go to Casablanca. So we went to Casablanca, we were there for three nights, right? Yep, three, three nights. nights. Yeah. Uh, one, one of the days we just kind of did a lot of work um, because we had seen everything there was to see the day before. So that kind of brings me to the, the first point which is there's not a whole lot to see in Casablanca. Um, we, we, we really try to find things. We start off with the mosque, we went around the Medina, we try to find cool restaurants, cool bars, and everything like that. Now, in, in, uh, for me as an American, like, well, you're American too, but like, as Americans, we, I think Casablanca is almost romanticized because of the movie. Yep. And, you know, you know, going to Casablanca, it, it might be this like really cool, beautiful place. Uh, but it just isn't that. There's actually a restaurant there, um, which is called Rick's Cafe from the movie Casablanca. And even that is like not great at all. So the movie like Casablanca, it, it portrays Casablanca like, totally different than it is now. So I had kind of a romanticized view going in there. I was like, oh, Casablanca, this is gonna be great. But it really is just a modern city um, in Morocco. And if you're visiting Morocco, you probably wanna see some old type of city if you're a tourist visiting, which is what we wanted to see. So I'm sure it's fine if you're like a local and you live there, but for us, like going to this modern city where there really wasn't much other than the Grand Mosque to see, we just weren't like super, super impressed. And it's not like you need to go there. Now that being said, it, it is a good stop. It's almost like a good layover location. It's like, to get from place to place, like Marrakesh is over here, and then Chef Chouan, Tangier, Fez, like all these other great places are on the other side. And it's a long bus ride, so it's almost like you have to stop in a Casablanca for just a short while. And if you do that, yeah, that's great. You can stay for like an afternoon, and you could probably see everything you need to do. So you don't really need to stay longer than one day. We stayed pretty long. We didn't really need to stay that long at all. That's my honest opinion on Casablanca. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. If you have not checked out Chris's channel, check him out, Sea Lava Travel. He made videos here all in Morocco as well. And uh, other than that, that is the video, man. Until next time, Rogue Nation, explore the world. Peace.